We are wanting to greet you today in this sacred ceremony in a few ways. We are wishing to welcome you to the portal gate opening ceremony for the Kundalini as the sexual energy ascends and passes through the second full moon ceremony of the sexual archetype of the central creatrix within you and your body. We want you to feel something new today as you connect to the earth, you see, as you listen to our oracle indeed as we speak to open yourselves to become a channel for goddess energy to ground through the root chakra into the earth's kundalini you become and open up become the vessel you see to ground the golden cobra goddess frequency the codes to revive yourself and earth's sexual energy with sacredness higher realms of divinity. As this portal gate opens, you see you gift golden cobra codes to the earth's kundalini. It is the maximum point you see, the swelling in your own bodies of sexual energy. To ground into the earth is a great thing, a great gift indeed, in order to revive it, to ask the kundalini to start to ascend over the next few weeks on your journey. Hear us when we say, it's the key for you to learn more about sexual energy. Time has come in humanity to reveal the undeniable, you see, to see the future at its brink if you do not align with sexual, sexual energy, sacredly. We are wanting to gift you with a vision, you see, a vision to take you in deep, to see the truth of why you ground sacred sexual energy, the codes of the golden cobra frequency. Heart thumping, pounding, you see, eyes clamped tight, cannot see, cannot see you. The awakening of humanity collectively burns, burns quietly. Many strands of sexual energy of the Kundalini try to rise, you see, try to rise and awaken those who are asleep in unity at once. A wave, you see, a wave of fire, a fire in humanity. They cannot sleep, they cannot sleep, they cannot see, they cannot be. Irritability runs deep, frustrations, anger, greed, greed, greed. All to be burned away, to be irrevocably replaced. A great fire, a great fire wave will descend, will travel through the human race. The human race will elevate the consciousness gain pace. We are wanting you to feel the urgency you see, the urgency of the matter to understand and claim the power of your own sexual energy, the great awakening you see. What do you think? What do you think it is indeed? Just awakening consciousness? We do not think. There is a serpent, the red cobra, awakening within all beings, you see. And as it raises internally the energy of the Kundalini, it brings great war within the body and peace. As it rises fully and awakes you from the sleep. We are wanting you to receive this vision indeed, as it will echo deep within the cells of your body the reason to come, to be a channel, you see, to be open, to open the gate, the portal, you see. As you start to work in unity with the Earth's Kundalini and our temple Raman world interdimensionally, you become the bridge, you see, for yourself, for sexual energy at its core, the core of creation indeed, to pass the codes, to receive, to help raise the Kundalini frequency, 
in your own selves and body and in humanity collectively as you pull your weight you see as you start to show to channel the energy it will make it easier on those asleep and who feel unworthy we are wishing for you to feel the importance on this journey to activate within you a new a deeper technology we are wishing for you to receive the opening of the portal gate ceremony the codes you see to activate the awakening of the kundalini to gift the golden cobra frequency back to the earth you see and in turn upgrading you and your sexual energy within your own body
It is time for you to be a new face of your own self and soul, you see, for you to interact daily with your own Kundalini frequency. We wish for you to allow, to allow, to allow new frequencies from our temple and realm to emanate within you and your body to link to gift back to the earth's kundalini to find peace to find peace in finding peace you must master and learn the wisdom of the kundalini you must learn to dance you see as a serpent indeed to intertwine with her frequency to learn the wisdom of her shape to understand and recognize her face in all things. The dance of life you see is not a race. We are wishing for you to have received these golden cobra codes and been an open vessel for the Kundalini. We ask you to retreat, to retreat, to go in deep, deep, deep over the next few weeks to take that time for you to see what the kundalini brings as she ascends up through your body awakening and intertwining with your own sexual energy what she brings what wisdom does she bring 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 we wish you to sit daily to dedicate a certain time frequency a dedication you see to the kundalini to connect indeed to see what wisdom she brings in your own spiritual energetic growth as you sit with the kundalini each day understanding she is rising you see and intertwining with your own sexual energy rising through the chakra systems until she is complete at the crown at the end of the next few weeks at the new moon portal gate opening ceremony each day sit with this frequency and entertain a new dialogue internally goddess to goddess do you see you conversing with the almighty kundalini as she teaches you she is to teach you you see how you can live your lives more blissfully she shows you what is needed to be seen to be seen in your own healing and spiritual journey you might not like what you see or hear or what she speaks but we urge you and guide you to listen diligently to be on the lookout you see for all of her gifts reflected as she rises internally reflected externally for you to see manifested into being there is a deep wound collectively rising through at this time in humanity a wounding of home indeed which sits deep a feeling of not belonging you see a feeling of unsettlement, unsettled indeed. We are wanting you to sit daily to repeat this frequency, to allow yourself to sit and to go deeply, to connect with the goddess of the Kundalini Kundalini, to start to see the blocks on your sexual energy ascension journey. It is required of you to dedicate yourself to sit, to contemplate, in order for you to be ready for what it means to learn to ascend your sexual energy if you are to complete you see to complete to continue your goddess awakening frequency to become a goddess embodied this is the hard path and journey sit daily and repeat <laughs>
for you to hear, hear, hear us. You see, in today and all of the days following this sacred ceremony, over the next few weeks, we wish for you to seek, to seek, to ask the question and have it answered personally. It is our desire for you to feel the power and wisdom of the Kundalini frequency to raise your own sexual energy, dedicating yourself to sexual purity, purity, purity. Why, you see, well, in sexual purity, indeed, you can transcend all realms. Simultaneously, you can connect to the living essence of all things on your earth. You see, feel deeper sensitivity within your own bodies. You can raise your sexual energy at will, you see, to cross time, space, dimensions, portals, realities, to seek, to dream a dream, to receive higher wisdom and technology for you to breathe, breathe, breathe deep, to feel, to be guided within your own realm, your own selves. Intuition, you see, is key for you to walk, to concentrate on your own path individually, for you to start to see the truth beyond the illusion, you see, of the created reality that blinds you deeply. The layers of your reality will continue to break free, to unfold, to drop the curtain, you see, to reveal new truths within you, you see, to eliminate all constraints and chains on you as a soul in your own body. The journey to seek, to arrive deep within your own cells, you see, and breathe in new life to be nourished deeply, deeply, deeply is key. As you grasp this connectivity, interconnectivity with the living of all things, all things, you will understand it's the vibration of sacred sexuality. It is the life and essence of life. Indeed, it is us and our goddess frequency. It is the power you see of all living things. Energy, not just energy. Sexual energy is energy. We wish to leave you with this vision, you see, of who you can and who you will be, will be ascending your sexual energy. A priestess of the goddess, what it means, what it means is a feminine being who embodies sacred sexual energy and delivers it to the earth and humanity, activating those who look upon her beauty as she radiates a golden cobra frequency. It is in your nature to lead, you see, but to lead, you do not have to lead other human beings. You can just lead your own self and focus on your own journey of ascending your sexual energy. Boy. As you continue to focus on this journey so lowly, you will inspire many, many to follow you, you see. And you do not have to teach, not have to teach but just do and they will see and they will be activated by you just being. This is great power, you see, effortlessly. As a priestess of the goddess, you see, you will not have to effort or work in that way physically, physically. Great manifestations and peace within your own cells and body, harmony, unity, will run deep. You will have a different type of journey, a journey of confronting, you see, confronting the obstacles within your own bodies and psyches, a journey that leads internally, internally, leads upwardly, let's say, to be free. Many of you are in a cage, feeling enslaved, deep, wishing to escape this reality, the 3D. There is only one way to unite with it fully, going internally to create a space of peace and glory. It is for you to invest, you see, to invest in your own energy and growth indeed, to transfer codes to your goddess light body so you can, can ascend fully. We are wishing for you to understand and to see and to breathe a new type of creatrix indeed for you to create all glorious things on your earth in purity, sexual purity, this means at the core, at the root of nature, you see, to balance, in balance with nature and the earth, indeed, with respect, you see, for all animals and creations and other human beings. 
but firstly with great respect for the earth and her kundalini frequency, as it is the giving of all life on earth and the sustaining of all life on earth. And as she rumbles, you see, as the distortions have been so fraught in your society, the distortions of sexual energy polluted, you see, the external world is an reflection of the internal state of the sexual energy of humanity. And yes, it's getting hot, you see, hot, why, why is it warming up globally, globally? It's time, as the Earth's Kundalini will rise collectively, and it causes great heat within the bodies. Yes, great heat, you see, can burn deeply if a runway is not created internally, a runway, a portal, you see. A portal of ascending the sexual energy. There are many things that priestesses can do to cleanse their bodies, to help you see, to remove the energetic blocks indeed for a clear pace, a clear raising of the Kundalini and with that technology to assist the rest of humanity. We are at the beginning phases you see but there is a great creation creating imminently. Your destiny is within your hands, you see. Priestesses will lead. They are interlinked to the problems of your earth and world and sexual energy. It is the basis of all things. And you're seeing the distortions greatly. And as you sink to this goddess energy cycle, you see, and each day you reflect and connect to your sexual energy, you will increase a pace, a pace you see spiritually, you will ascend each day your sexual energy. Time in your life is not linear, you see, it is ascending, ascending always, you see. You can choose to ascend it daily, or you can choose to stay exactly where you are, you see, and feel the pace, the pace, the quickening of the collective ascension journey. We need you to feel empowered within your own selves and body to feel, to start to see, to want to see the truth and to receive the technology. We are asking you to be ready, to be ready, to be ready for a time in not so distantly you will start to see more, you see, you will start to see the pains of distorted sexual energy come to light, be revealed in your humanity. And you will start to sit and to see and to know deep down deeply it is the rising of the earth's kundalini within the earth and with all human beings. It's happening whether you like it or not, you see. So you can go with it or not. Indeed, it is a free will choice for you, you see. We are striving for you to agree that it is of the benefit collectively that the Kundalini is rising and wishes to rise, you see. And it's part of your destiny to sink in, to get on board with this rising. As a boat in the water, you see, rising all tides, lifting all boats, you see unless they are anchored to the ocean floor, indeed. We are wishing for you to repeat the frequency given to sit each day to connect with the Kundalini as she rises through your chakra system until the next new moon portal gate opening ceremony, when it will be time, you see, to reconnect interdimensionally to our temple Raman world, indeed, as a priestess of the goddess, indeed, you sit with our oracle as she opens the portal gate for you so that you can feel and see connecting Temple Raman world to 3D. You have a choice for yourself, you see, to sit with our Oracle as she opens the portal gates for you consistently. But you also have an internal portal you can create, that you can revisit, that you can open internally. And you do it through healing and initiating your sexual energy. We are wanting you to have received the gifts of this 
full moon portal gate opening ceremony today as we sit and speak and share the new frequency and technology of what needs to be received at this time in humanity. We work in a mysterious way, which is why the feminine, the goddess, has always been a mystery you see forever changing indeed, because she is free, as are we, as are you, deeply. It's time to connect to that chaos, you see, the chaos of being free fully, understanding that things are never the same and things always change and you accept them willingly or you experience the great pain internally. We wish for you to sit each day to see the wisdom of the Kundalini and what she brings to you in your sexual energy ascension journey to see to feel the rising of her within your own body to prepare for the great time in humanity. It is, has been fun for us to sit with you again today and we enjoy it deeply, we enjoy it deeply to move through our oracle, to speak to you in your 3D reality. We love you tremendously and wish to guide you independently. We speak through her to you, you see, to get your attention indeed, to let you know that we are here wishing for you to open up and receive personally. To become a goddess embodied is something very simply. It's to allow our sacred sensual energy to move through you and your body. To allow us to remove, to heal old wounds, distortions in your sexual energy, the traumas you see, it can happen more easily when you open to sacred sexuality. And it is the key, it's what we wish to bring at this time in your humanity to understand the importance you see as for centuries it has been suppressed, made irrelevant indeed. Changing the word energy as if it's not all about sexual energy. Sexual energy is all energy. It's either distorted or contorted or it's free. Impurity. Humanity has a problem, you see, having forgotten, forgotten how to purify their own sexual energies and bodies. And it's for you to receive a new technology to help humanity in this current state, at this current pace of ascending on the ascension journey. It's required to come back to the truth of nature, to connect back to the earth in her core, you see. The core of the earth is the nestled red serpent kundalini to start to unite all three kundalini animurius and golden cobra frequencies it is time and we wish to sit with you more frequently and we are excited for you to receive what is coming for you we are asking you to start to look at everything through the eyes of sexual energy. To bring your awareness and consciousness, you see, bringing consciousness to sexuality. Not just in your relationships or the act of sex, indeed not this. Everything has a vibration, you see. What is vibration? It's energy, sexual energy indeed, the vibration and basis of all living things. Humans have tried to deny it, that it is about sex indeed, sexual energy. We talk of sexual energy as a different thing from a higher dimensional space indeed, which is why it's confusing to most human beings if they still lay with their distortions and programming around sexual energy. We wonder why, you see. We wonder why it's been hidden from you so blind, so blindly, how you have great wounding, you see. The game that's to be played has always been about sexual energy. We wish you to open your eyes over the next few weeks to see for your own self indeed for you to acclimatize to a new reality where you are awake, where your sensitive fatigues come through more clearly you see as we guide you independently. As you sit each ceremony with our oracle indeed we wish you to repeat to continue to sink into our energy as it ascends fully. You should be clear with yourself indeed of how much you can handle on this journey, meaning that sexual energy 
can be tricky, tricky, tricky if you rush it indeed. We are just wishing for you at the start of your journey to sit daily and observe, observe. Do not rush into anything you cannot receive, not receive. Do not push, push, push your growth. When talking about sexual energy, we will say one more thing when it comes to your reality. You can bend reality and manifest as you see with thought indeed. However, when utilizing the power of sexual energy, it is in and bound in alignment, bound in alignment with nature, you see. Therefore, you cannot push it or distort it without a consequence, you see. It all comes back to you and your purity. The more pure, the more understanding, the more you're able to channel sacred sexual energy, the more energy you'll be able to bring, the more you try to push and reach for this power before you're ready, it will backfire on you in your earthly reality. We bring great technology that will be released to you in due course, you see, regarding the powers of sacred sexuality. However, you must prepare yourselves and be ready and it will teach you as a mother, you see, when you push too much, it will stop you. Indeed, it will stall you until you remove more impurities from the body. We are enjoying our sit down with you through our oracle, you see. We are enjoying today's sacred ceremony, indeed, delivering more codes for you, we see. A change to the new is good for you. We are wanting to round off today's sacred ceremony with a prayer indeed from our temple realm and world to ignite a new frequency of the kundalini to unite all three kundalini anima urius feminine sexual energy and the golden cobra temple from our temple realm and world Prepare to receive the feminine power that you seek to embody your true goddess destiny. Discover more. The Temple of the Goddess.com.